Today we'll be checking out the British Airways business class experience on a flight from Sydney to London via Singapore. And I wanted to kick things off with my number one tip, and that is to get yourself a window seat. The seating configuration is front to back, and as a result, the window seat gets this private little pod, which is really spacious. This window that separates the two seats is where the air hostess passes things through to you. So if you're sitting on an aisle, it is a bit of an inconvenience. It's a much more enjoyable and private space up against the window. And now for the most important part of any premium flying experience, the food and the drinks. Before the flight, you'll have access to the Qantas and One World Lounge, so you can grab something to eat with the Sydney skyline in full view. Once on board, there's a cocktail menu to enjoy. I thought I'd start with a beer, then try the Johnny Ginger, Cranberry Blush, and the Gin Zing. The Johnny Ginger was the best by far. I love that you also got a little snack with every drink. I never really got the hang of this window, and I did feel bad for the guy on the aisle. So I'll just reiterate, try and get the window seat if you can. Now onto the food. Now the trickiest part is selecting your main. I went for the seared chicken and wasn't disappointed. Everything was amazing, even the token green salad. But the absolute highlights were the two dessert items. The carrot cake and the cheese board both finished the meal off really nicely. Plus it was a good excuse to have a cup of tea and another glass of red wine to wash it down. For the second meal, there was a lamb shoulder wrap, which was also very, very good. Paired with a packet of salty chips, but once again, dessert was the star of the show with a cherry ripe cake, absolutely amazing. The second leg from Singapore to London was taking off at a very awkward time in the middle of the night. So I wasn't that hungry, but I still managed to put away the beef chip. Again, the desserts were excellent. I won't try and pronounce what it was though. Finally for the breakfast just before our arrival in London was a pretty standard omelette or pancake option. And too many sweets on the journey so far, so I went for the omelette which paired really well with the mushrooms and other vegetables on the plate. Next we'll have a look at some of the cool features they had in the seating area. I was fascinated by the ability to change the tint on the windows and make it appear relatively dark in the middle of the day. The table is fairly intuitive and folds out nice and easy. It does store quite a distance away from you, but you're able to slide it all the way in so it's in a nice comfortable spot. The TV is actually quite small compared to most other premium cabins, but it's adequate for the job and still far better than what you would get in an economy seat. You can also adjust the angle of the TV so that if you're laying flat, you can point the TV directly down at where you're laying. And of course, the best part was that I could listen to Jimmy Carr being interviewed by Stephen Bartlett. And of course, you have the lay flat bed. Not the most comfortable I've ever been in, but laying flat on an airplane is always a win. You have plenty of leg room, and it's a pretty comfortable way to pass a few hours watching some movies. When it gets dark, you get some very interesting lighting in the cabin. The control tinted windows allow you to create all sorts of colours depending on the lighting combinations outside. You have a reading light with a dimmer that gives you great control over the amount of light in your seat. Plus you also get a really comprehensive comfort pack with various lotions, moisturisers, toothpaste, socks and an eye mask that offers really good coverage. And did I mention that you should try and get a window seat? Well on the Singapore to London leg I had no such luck. Lucky for me this was the leg that was in the middle of the night and everyone slept the whole way anyway. So all I had to do was wake up, have that nice breakfast we saw earlier and we're almost at the destination. So this was a rare treat and a great way to use up some extra frequent fly miles that I accumulated during the pandemic. So while British Airways may not have the highest rated business class experience around, I arrived after a 24 hour journey with much more sleep than usual. I was well fed and I would absolutely do it again if I had the opportunity.